Welcome back to Uvalde. Known as the honey capital of the world, nicknamed the city of trees and home of former Vice President John Nance Garner and the Cactus Jack Professional Bull Riding Competition. Which brings us here. You know we've seen pro bull riding on TV and at the rodeo, but this time we're getting up close and personal with the bull riders themselves and with the folks that put on the show. Let's go. And to begin with, we spoke with Mayor Don McLaughlin to find out a deeper meeting about this exciting event. The Cake Shack Foundation started about seven years ago, and then when we talked about different things, we didn't want to do it for profit, we wanted to do it for our community. And so the way we did it, we, we went to the schools and said, we want to throw this event, and we want to take that money, and we want to help the students and the teachers with some of the supplies that the schools won't buy for them or different things. So I mean, it's been a real, it's been a real inspiration for us. It takes a community to do what we've been able to do, and the, and the community has really embraced it. So it's, it's really been good. And it's a great place to be. Great place to be. Your body's a great place to be. <laughs> I mean, you know, Hondo may have, it's only God's country. Please don't drive through like hell, but <laughs> God, God, God just loves you, Valdi. So, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it takes the community's involvement to do all that. And that's what makes it so special, That's what too. makes it so, so special. Referred to as the most dangerous dance on dirt, Cactus Jack Bull Riding is a three-day event where world-famous cowboys vie for a chance to add to their season totals and move up in world rankings. And the best part? It's all for a good cause with every dollar going toward empowering local youth. Just ask Rodeo Hall of Famer Leon Coffey. So let's talk about these pants. There's something special about them. So who made them and why are you wearing them? <laughs> There's not a lot of stars or, or anybody or any kind of celebrities that come down and visit uh, these schools or anything. So these kids really think a lot of me down here. And yeah. Rob School has made me a pair of pants <laughs> every year for about, about four years now. Wow. So I wear them everywhere in the United States. But it gives these kids something that they don't get all the time right. and for me to wear it it's a great honor for me to wear it for them yeah so that's yeah. why i do it and i love that uh this sport does so much for the community and i love that you get to travel with it and show yeah. the world uvalde texas uvalde texas awesome. you know <laughs> not many people can do that yeah. so I, I, i'm i'm privileged <laughs> And in true rodeo fashion, the night was packed with tons of entertainment. But one sport you may not see very often, how about American freestyle bullfighting? Well, American freestyle bullfighting is a competition between one man and one animal. Uh, these are the same type of fighting bulls that they use in Spain or Mexico. Uh, here in the United States, it's a complete bloodless sport. It's gonna be 45 seconds of jam packs action, you know, a lot of danger. Uh, a lot of intensity, it's going to be the most intense 45 seconds you ever witnessed. And intense it was. Every moment of this competition kept me and everyone around me on the edge of our seats. And then it was time for the final rides of the night. From the heart stopping to the heroic, my favorite part had to be witnessing the best of the best in the Cactus Jack title. 